A quick peek into the locker room as the players get yes, the game boy. Ahead, looking to make a big splash here tonight. Come on, boy. And Ingram. Oh. MVP. To the NBA on 2K Sports on this very special day. Welcome to the, the day. There, a happy Veterans day. We're taking on the Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks. Playing against... Who? My Spurs bested in the, uh, for their 8th and ninth championships, which is... Well, a lot. Fell to the 29th pick six years ago and the finals. So it's been a minute. Being respected, working hard. Great story, Ali. Thank you. And a chance here to check out some stats. Okay. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. On the perimeter, it's Allen and Middleton. And it's Holiday in at the one. And for San Antonio, Andre Drummond is out there with Brandon Ingram. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Dylan Brooks. And it's Murray in at the point guard position. You know, and we're number one in the league the last four seasons bucks keep running it back the same roster i don't know last year Giannis had a fluke back injury and Grant, for the bucks in the yeah, first round size. of the playoffs that's yeah, kind of fundamentally as well ba i mean is what they it is out, they fight to maintain position the other year milton got hurt the year for that they won the title so I can see why they want to run it back but they got a different coach now but you know Drew Holiday is not necessarily a good shooter great defender but it's surprising they haven't got a scoring point guard so they can sort of run that person in uh, Holiday Big factor in that or improve their That's shooting. With an assertive move. Like, where was the, the guy's Grayson play? Allen, but yeah, then Giannis got hurt, so maybe that was their plan. The but he got hurt, so. And that streaking Hope to this next season they stay healthy. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And yes, that's what they I think they need do. more shooting. Pass to Allen. And now just over a minute played here in the first. Holiday passes to Lopez. Some solid defense from Drummond. San Antonio has gone two of two at the perimeter. Here's Van Vliet. And here's Drummond, covered by Lopez. Lopez against Drummond. The shot off that time. Good work defensively by Lopez. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. You really suffocated him there, guys. Just excellent work. Drummond passes to Van Vliet. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Brook Lopez. And if your team is starting out slower than anticipated, how do you prevent frustration from setting it, Grant? That's a tough one. I mean, the trick is to try to stay even kill. It's such a long season. You're going to have highs and lows. Just treat this like any other low point at any other time of the year. <laughs> it should pass. For San Antonio, they've gone two of three from the floor. And lead on the wing. It's stolen by Holiday. Damn, okay. <laughs> Pass to Lopez. There's the triple. Nails it from three. Well, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard. And a great feel for when guys are open. Now here's Brooks. Turned in an outstanding game against Memphis. Fires the three. No luck on that one. Now the Bucks take it the other way. They come into this one having outplayed the Thunder in their last game. Oh my, talk about mental toughness. The crowd was roaring against them. They were able to focus and finish the task at hand. Impressive to see them on the road 
just step up and have that kind of offensive performance. And first coach Greg Popovich last season moving into first all time for coaching wins, Greg. That's right, B.A. I mean, all those wins coming with one oh. organization, the Spurs. Now, when he hangs up his whistle, he'll be in the conversation for the greatest coach in NBA history. Milwaukee is gone one of four from deep. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. And the Bucks miss again. And one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Lopez with the steal. Allen with it. Van Vliet covering. Allen, the pass to Middleton. Oh, rejected by Drummond. Really tough to get a shot over the frame and jumping Damn. ability of Andre Drummond. He got up there and got that one. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Now here's Murray. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Brooks from outside. Holiday grabs the miss. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And a slam dunk by Ingram. Well, he's just so long, able to get to that rim pretty quick. And here is Hanada Kumpo. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Oklahoma City. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. The Bucks making a switch here. Portis has checked in. Holiday passes to Portis. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist of the night. <laughs> I just love the ball play. Brooks with it, guarded by Ana Kumpo. And here's Ingram outside, sinks the tray. Ingram's got eight points. Well, Brandon Ingram answering the call, comes right back with three of his own. Ana Kumpo against Ingram. Here's the three. San Antonio with the rebound. Van Vliet outside. Let's go with the three. Oh! Ha -ha. for Ingram. Pass to Murray. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Holiday. Murray, no good. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Middleton, no good. For San Antonio, they've gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. Drummond against Portis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I give a ton of credit to the Bucks front office beyond <laughs> training for Holiday. And of course, re-signing Giannis. You love how they filled Jesus. in those um, guys around that star power. Well, for example, like, like this Bucks year, team Bucks have to replace a key rotation player. Pretty sure yeah, had the same players. They don't have the financial wherewithal you know? to spend a ton of money with the contracts that have been given out. So it's about the right fit, the right personnel, and I think front office. Whereas you know, whereas my team is like almost completely different. Players are. Outside Ingram jacks up a three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Just to illustrate how Murray's got much they haven't changed our team. Got a piece long of it. time and stolen by Murray. Three pointer Van Vliet. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Timeout called the Bucks. Let's look back over the last 10 games now. See which teams were topping the charts in three-point shooting. The Spurs, number one. Incredible accuracy from deep over the past couple games. Great floor spacing. And, of course, their shooters have all the confidence in the world right now. Beasley outside. They got Malik Beasley over the summer. Portis to three. Um, I read in Fox blog about how he should do better in their system versus the Lakers system. Fires the three, hits the trifecta. Ingram's got 14 points for the game. 
12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the but I know there was times where That's Drew Holiday shot like two for 20. Like the dude can't shoot. He may be the best perimeter defender, but I feel like you need someone else in there. Easily against Murray. And stolen by Murray! Wow, you watch the defender and it looks like he knew that was coming. He made it quick. I watched play the playoffs the year uh, Middleton was hurt and Giannis yeah, just had nobody to pass to. He kept passing, but they kept just throwing up all these bricks, including Holiday. So, like, they need a guy that can shoot. I think uh, Beasley can probably do that for them, but they need a point guard, too. So, it's kind of surprising they haven't made a move. Offensively, no buckets yet in the game from him. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far. That's. Don't be a big bully, Ari. The responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contribution. Knocks it down from distance. He really has a nice stroke as Beasley's jumper is able to fall. The kick out to Van Vliet. Off target with the three. The Bucks trail. Long. Pass to Portis. Brooks comes with a double team. And we're going to have a jump ball. Connaughton with the ball. Shot from 12. Rebound by Van Vliet. That's how you want to see them crash to glass. They've been out hustled so far. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted nice. on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now here's Beasley. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about seven and a half per game. And out of bounds, San Antonio will have it. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. I'm still number one. You look at the Spurs, <laughs> things stacking up nicely for them so far. Number one in their conference and looking formidable. Checking out San Antonio, you have to really give it to them. I mean, they are backing up all the preseason hype. They've been outstanding early. And don't count on that coming to an end anytime soon. The talent level of this squad is off the charts. And with the momentum they're gathering here early in the year, it could steamroll through the season. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That's his first foul. Clark has checked in for San Antonio. There's the three. And Beasley gets it to go on the assist by Connaughton. Beasley's got six. Good heads up basketball. Season opening, it capitalizes. Ingram, the pass to Clark. Oh, Clark with the slam. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, mm. playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. And the second free throw is good. Beasley's a guy who just hits the court hungry and ready to make an impact. He usually does that on the offensive end. Jones from outside. <laughs> called in by Connaughton. Knocked away. And so the San Antonio Spurs, they have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb uh, shooting. I'm curious. I swept them. Few possessions. And don't go uh. far. We'll be right back. Uh, the first time for the eighth title, and then in year nine, I won four, four to one. So they got a game. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one sided so far. All right, guys, before we move on, what do you think about the Spurs at this point? 
Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball constantly in transition. Jones. We've got Brandon Clark, Brandon Ingram out there with Dylan Brooks. Then it's Fred Van Vliet, and it's Jones in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Trying to stay focused. Nose to the grindstone, Al. Thanks for that. Now, right now, Brandon Ingram is just taking command of the entire game. Ingram against Antetokounmpo. Three-pointer is up. Middleton sinks it from distance. Middleton's got five now. <laughs> They're getting I remember watching the, the game with Brooklyn where Middleton just hit. It reminds me of Kobe hitting these shots Jones he hit in that game. Brooks. It was insane. And lead on the wing. He drops it from range. Nine points in the game. And Ingram and his court awareness continue to grow. A terrific dime there. Stolen by Jones. And they're running. Here's Ingram. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And they've made themselves easy pickings. Sloppy ball control creates an easily converted turnover. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I love competing against this team. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Rejected by Anadokounmpo. Get down on the block. Giannis is going to use that length defensively and get his hands all over any shot attempt. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in wins. Any memories facing off with his Spurs? Well, I always knew that his teams would play hard. They'd be prepared. They played the right way. And, of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. Middleton, no good. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Jones, the pass to Clark. Lopez with the steal. Outside Holiday. Pass to Lopez. Outside Holiday to the inside. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Middleton. Well, Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Ingram into the lane. And that's good from 17 feet. Ingram's got 21 points in the game. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. And let's take a look now at the best rebounders in the league this season. Fifth on the list, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. And the Spurs with some changes. Collins, he's checked in for Clark. Porter Jr. comes in for Ingram. And it's Gordon Hayward in for Got a garden. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. They're going to have to pay more attention to him on the perimeter. He's hit four three-pointers already today. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's his first foul. And the game is growing by leaps and bounds globally. How does the league continue to ride that way? Well, I'll tell you, B.A., it's not hurting that you have an MVP that comes from Europe. I mean, Nikola Jokic bringing a lot of attention back to the league with his dominant play over here. But Commissioner Silver continues to explore all the corners in which he can continue to introduce the game, introduce the entertainment, and introduce the community aspect of what being a partner with the NBA is all about. Now here's Holiday. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And they're in a better flow this quarter offensively. And their shooting percentage is steadily rising as a result. And here's Porter outside. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Man, they're having a hard time Damn. defending the triple. That's three in a row. And there's a the foul. It'll go on Tyus Jones. That's his first foul of the game. 
second team. Now here's Holiday. A threat for them offensively. He's recorded around 19 a game. Portis gets the bucket. Mm. They're having more success with the three-point shot here in the second quarter as they try to cut into this lead. Order a screen. Inside. Oh. with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kupo. And the Bucs with some changes. Crowder, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Connaughton comes in for Allen. And Beasley has subbed in for Drew Holiday. The Bucs have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. Crowder, the pass to Kupo. The three is up. And another three for Milwaukee. More and more is a reliable spot-up shooter. Beasley with the feet set knocks it in. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading oh. scorer. He wants to finish his career <laughs> in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. And it's on to Kumpo off the drive. And <clears throat> here's Crowder from the arc. Doesn't go that time, and San Antonio will go the other way with it. Jones, the pass to Kumpo. <sighs> To the middle and Collins with the big nope. block. The timing defensively. Nope. Just up there, the long <laughs> arms quick off the deck. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Kupo finds Crowder. Jones comes with a double team. Shot clock at six. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And here's Connaughton for three. Now nope. It's off. He's for three now. <laughs> the Spurs have gotten eight of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Jones, the pass to Porter. Uh -huh. And it's off from three point range. And Grant, both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. <laughs> Dang it. The best ever in the post. How close was Collins? I got I tried so hard. <laughs> Come on, man. Gosh, you talk about. Ooh, that's close. Ah. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league. Right. Outside quarter. Here's Collins. Giannis with the rebound. And the call will be against John Collins. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Third team foul. The Bucks trail. Anadokounmpo outside. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. And this is why Giannis is up there every season as one of the league leaders in dunking the basketball. Just way too easy. Let's a floater go. Collins, no good. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Right side, Richardson. Oh, and that one, no. There we go. Powered it down. Ah, I like to see Richardson up there and finishing strong. And for the Bucks, they're shooting it well. Almost 50% for the floor. Here's on it, Akumpo. And it goes. Ah. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Murray's checked in for Jones. Holiday's checked in for Milwaukee. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that and Giannis. San Antonio leading. Murray up top. On a cool ah. And it's Murray finishing it off. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Outside Holiday takes the three. A rebound by Murray. Murray's got rebound number five here tonight. 
And here's Porter outside. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got his seventh assist here tonight. A dangerous shooter from deep. All Porter needs is a little daylight, and he's good to fire. Crowder, that's good. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the free ball. Richardson, the pass to Murray. Now Hayward lets it go from deep. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. Yeah, a quality shooter from beyond the arc. Can't let Hayward get room to fire from the corners. Holiday passes to Ananakumpo. <laughs> Outside Holiday from behind the arc. Rebounded by the Spurs. Murray finds Collins. Up and over Crowder. Collins, no good. Ananakumpo with it. Picked up by Collins. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. From deep. It's hauled in by Hayward. San Antonio shooting the rock well in the second quarter. 55% from the floor. And stolen by Ananakupo. Pass to Connaughton. Carries it down low. Connaughton's got his first points of the night. Look, he's an MVP performer on the court, but Giannis in that leadership and attitude. He's a team first. Guy. Finally, got some. <laughs> executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. <laughs> IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. with coach Greg Popovich and coach you look at the offensive execution for this team what are you seeing I think they've done a pretty good job in moving the basketball keeping up the pace because we've been playing in mud a little bit lately but the pace has been pretty good hopefully that pace continues in the second half thanks coach Allie as always thank you we'll be back right after the break for the third quarter here on 2k sports Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. A clinic execution so far as it's been a dominant showing for the San Antonio Spurs. They're scoring the ball with consistency, good shot selection, patience running their offense. Making the most of their opportunities, if you're the coach, that's all you can ask for. And now we can look at the latest power rankings. And again, don't stare directly at them like an eclipse. Just take a glance. Let's see who's on top. Looking at San Antonio, it's good to be the king. But everyone's taking shots at the throne. And you got to stay on point, Shaq. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. But if I'm them, no worries. Just keep winning. Is that Something? Macbeth or is that Shakespeare? Or is Shakespeare, it's Macbeth. No, it's Shakespeare. <laughs> hey, and that'll do it for us. I, I don't know who to... I'm assuming I'm gonna reach the finals, but I don't never know who's gonna come out their side. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Boy, this has been last one year with the Celtics. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, he keeps tracking down those spots behind the three-point line and, and finding some open opportunities. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. And it's Lopez in at the five. And for the Bucks, they're shooting about 47%. A nice number. For three, Allen. Collins with the rebound. Outside Richardson. Shoots over Allen. And there's Richards on the assist by Hayward. And the Spurs lead by 12. Richardson's gone two for three from the field. Ha ha ha. Kumpo, a screen on Murray. Kicks it out to Middleton. Second chance shot. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Middleton's got seven points in the game. And here's Porter outside. Offensive board. Collins. Good work defensively by Lopez. We'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And the Spurs with some changes. Andre Drummond comes in for Collins. And Brandon Ingram subbed in for Porter Jr. Middleton, no good. 
Uh, defense better tighten up on the mid range. They're much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. Here's Hayward. Money from the wing. Hayward's gotten his second bucket of the game. He is so tough to guard a guy like Hayward. He just has so many options to choose from offensively. Holiday passes to Lopez. Here's Middleton. At the top of the key jumper is on the mark. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Outside Murray. Pass to Ingram. Now Drummond. Shoots over Lopez. The shot by Drummond. No good. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot. Even with little or no defense Woo! on you. And the three-pointer goes. Well, early in his career, this is not a shot that Brook Lopez would take. Now, it's all he makes. Here's Richardson. And ah! he's fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Grant, it's a shooter's league, and we're seeing more and more big men float out to the perimeter and knocking them down. Well, B, mm. the game has evolved, and the shooting, particularly from the bigs, is fantastic. But, you know, I wish the bigs had a little bit more diversity. I don't mind shooting from the perimeter, but every once in a while, go mix it up and take advantage of your size mismatch in the paint. Controls the rebound and the putback. That's a battle down there. It's, it's one of the reasons Lopez Derek Rose hasn't has played in a while. Most because I forgot to take Uber out of the active roster. <laughs> Sorry about that, D Rose. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by the Bucks. They host the Hawks after this one. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Middleton outside. Down low. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Andre Drummond. How about Lopez inside showing some smooth, fluid moves? He's off on the second. Ooh. The Spurs have got just two of six in the second half. Right oh, come the on. For the layup. Rose my foul, is ref. First basket of the night. And hey, that's a hard, hard shot. The Rose can absolutely get it done and close on good defense. Outside Holiday fires for three. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got a seventh rebound here tonight. Brooks the pass to Drummond. Stiley by Middleton. Oh, the long arms of Middleton hey. getting up there on defense and throwing that one away. And the Spurs making a change here. Van Bleach checked in. Holiday against Rose. And there's the foul. It'll go on Derek Rose. That's his first foul. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. Mark has checked in for San Antonio. And there's the foul. It'll go on Derek Rose. Come on, man. That'll be a second foul of the game. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Hey. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Oh, a terrific swat! No I third. It, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Beasley's checked in for Milwaukee. As I said. Milwaukee. Now that we're into November, let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaking out. You look at Milwaukee as the season continues to ramp yeah, up. Who's up there? The seventh spot. Seeing where the Bucks are, they've looked simply average so far, and that's it's shocking. August now in real life. They were last year. And no idea what's going to happen with Damian Lillard or uh, James Harden. <laughs> having the same success as they did last year. The good news for them is it's early, and they have the luxury of time to get things sorted out. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock, Lopez. And so he draws the foul. Headed what? D. Rose is way over there. What did Rose do? Okay. I'm mean, a challenge that yeah, just because that was kind of derpy. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. 
The previous play is under review. Gray area in a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look. So the officials can be sure they get it right. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still he. That one's off. Now, big and bad and reliable, those are three great traits that Brooke Lopez brings to the table. Goes up from the top of the key, and he connects with a jumper. Rose there we go. Got his second basket. They haven't relied on him as much as usual, but when his number has been called, he shot well enough to help them earn the lead. This might make you feel old, but Derrick Rose won his MVP over a decade ago, the 2011 season. Whew, that was something special. Rose <laughs> oh! The official calls a foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on Brooke Lopez. And that one falls for Let's Rose. Go. He rose in 2011. He MVP is back. His hometown team, the Chicago Bulls. And what a year. Top 10 in scoring and assists. He just won that vote in a landslide. That Bulls team winning 62 games. And it beat up on a loaded Eastern Conference. That was LeBron's first Miami season. Boston still had the big three. Eric Gross was getting it done. The three, Allen sends it home from three-point land. Allen's got eight. Middleton right now seeing the floor and delivering the ball well to his teammates. Good at finding the open man. Rose, the pass to Ingram. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Three-pointer is up. Middleton rebounded by the Spurs. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Offensive rebound. Rose finds Ingram. Hits a three-pointer. Ingram's got 24 points. Ingram has the skill to do that. A nice job setting up and receiving the pass. Middleton with it. And Clark picks him up defensively. Oh, shit. Here's Lopez. Ugh. No good off the glass. For San Antonio, they've gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Pass to Brooks. The three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got six rebounds in the game. Elbow shot. Offensive rebound. And then Portis with the dunk. A big board and a bigger putback from Bobby Portis. Middleton against Rose. Over Middleton. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got rebound number seven tonight. To the paint. And it's Portis. That time on the assist by Allen. Portis has got four points this quarter. Yeah, this is one of those nights Bobby Portis is feeling it. Rose with it. Portis picks him up. Rose can't connect. The Bucks trail. Middleton outside from the arc. Fires in the triple. He's got 12. Well, that equals his three-point total from the first half. He had one before the break, and that's his first three of this half. And that one's good. Ingram. It's clear there's a lot of pride on the line in this one. Not always the best scenario, but in this game, pride takes over. You score on me, I'm going to come back and score on you. Murray's checked in for Rose. Crowder, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. Well, Milwaukee's shooting about 42% on the third. On the wing, Crowder. Offline with a three. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Ingram, the pass to Clark. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Ingram's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, we all raise our eyebrows to the scoring, but Brandon Ingram is an assist getter. Now here's Beasley. He's got 13. How impressive has he been tonight? Battling inside in the trenches. Clark with a screen on Allen. Murray passes to Clark. And yep, that's going to be a flagrant one. About time they called a flagrant. Ooh, gosh. Foul. Can't let him get away with that level of contact. 
That's a simple call for the officials to make. Everyone knows the league is cracking down on that kind of intimidation tactic. But He's off on the first. I wonder if I'm going to start seeing flagrants now. And he sinks the second. And the Spurs making a switch here. Drummond's checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Giannis Antetokounmpo checked in for Crowder. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got four rebounds in the game. And here's Connaughton for three. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his first foul. Well, the find from the off-guard Beasley there. We'd like to see more of that. Malik working the ball around. Holiday's checked in for Allen. Here's Murray. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Murray's got six. He means business. Unlikely to be a comeback on his watch. Well, he's grabbed the tee in the blanket because he's putting this one to bed. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Due to the bonus, we will head to the line for two. The first one falls. And Grant last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. Derek Rose, he's checked in for San Antonio. Now here's Holiday. A threat for them offensively. He's recorded around 19 a game. Back. Great positioning on the putback. Collecting plenty of second chance points this half. That alone can keep a team in a game. Here's Rose. It's hauled in by Connaughton. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Good man. The defender really went after him. Yeah, if there's one drawback to Bobby Portis in his game is that emotionally you just want him to box that in at times with that passion and sometimes really get your teammates going. It's impressive how they've overcome his cold streak tonight. Everyone stepping in to fill the gap. Anacupo can't connect. San Antonio leading. Here's Ingram. Some solid defense from Holiday. And Andre Drummond is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect. So we'll head to the line for two. And he drops a first. Of course, one of the league's best scorers. Giannis poised to be one of the game's all-time best. So one for two that time at the strike. It's stolen by Holiday. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. So that'll be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. That's good from Holiday. There's so many plays where Drew Holiday will show you just how creative he can be with the basketball. Here's Van Vliet. Puts up a three. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! <laughs> the defense has to be besides themselves there. Terrific shot to close out the quarter by him. And so it's San Antonio leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Greg Popovich addressing his team. Let's hear what he had to say. The only difference is competitive. We decided to stick with each other. Long night. Keep competing. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Think about and with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Milwaukee shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Fred Van Vliet out there with Derek Rose. Then it's Brandon Ingram. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Spurs. That's the camera cut out. So. <laughs> Brooks outside. Pass to Van Vliet. Three-pointer. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Lopez finds Holiday. Inside. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. And the Bucks getting another bucket right there. Well, the more Giannis works on these kind of shots, and trust me, he is, the better he'll become. Brooks, the pass to Drummond. And here's Ingram from the arc. That one's in there. Drummond with the assist. Ingram's got 30. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Here's Lopez. That shot off the mark. San Antonio goes the other way with it. 
Van Vliet outside. Pass to Drummond. And stolen by Ana de Kupo. Mm. Holiday with the ball. Covered by Ingram. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Holiday perks up a little bit when he gets to the inside, knowing that there's the possibility of some contact. And the reliability of what Drew Holiday brings to the hardwood. It's about that menacing defense night after night with great hands and great instinct. The Spurs making a switch here. Jones has checked in. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Look at my Collins foul, man. Jeez. The defender simply couldn't keep up with his speed. Holding my so elbow. on in for the layup. That's such a beautiful move. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, and with a finish like that, you know he's looking to extend the lead and put this game out of reach. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Van Vliet on the wing. Jones, the pass to Van Vliet. And he lobs it up. Five to shoot. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. From 18 feet away. And again, it's the Bucks missing. San Antonio has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Well, Brent, after years of being an elite defender, Holiday is finally getting the recognition he deserves. And the best part of guys like this, B.A., is that ask other guards around the league what it's like to introduce your offensive game to a guy like Drew Holiday. Yeah, Giannis does you, that. He's one of the best <laughs> perimeter defenders that you're going to find. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Shit. Middleton with it. Checked by Brooks. And there's the call on Dylan Brooks. That'll be a second foul of the game. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Middleton finds out to Kumpo. And here's Lopez from the arc. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got assist number eight now on the night. Outside Jones. 4-3. And they recover it. It's stolen by Holiday. Allen on the wing. The three ball. The rebound by the Spurs. It's been a struggle all night long from deep, but doesn't seem like he's lost his confidence. He's still letting them rip. Van Vliet, the pass to Brooks. Knocks down the triple. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. It's stolen by Ingram. Brooks left side. From outside the arc. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Down low. Here's Allen. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. But you see how Giannis scans the floor. It's actually easy at his size. Involving his guys and showing his ability to pick the defense. Collins, he's checked in for Ingram. And already Giannis has a regular season MVP, a finals MVP, plus a defensive player of the year award, winning all three trophies by the age of 26. Excellent. Jones, the pass to Collins. Damn. Got four turnovers with Pius. Here's Allen. And Collins with the big block. This is crazy. Look at this. Five turnovers. Holy shit. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee. Is that like a career high? Like I feel bad. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, some of these passes are so hard to, you know. I don't know how many turnovers he's had. I was about to look that up. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do.
Hey, turnovers are not checked like that. But I don't imagine that's the most he's ever had ever in a single game. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard the Bucks coach as he addressed his team. He focused on perimeter play at both ends. On D, he wants to prevent open looks from deep. And at their own end, he thinks they can create better shots with better ball movement. We'll see if he gets his wish. Back to you. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's his third foul of the game. To the inside. Pass to Allen. Lopez, the screen on Van Vliet. Now here's Lopez, guarded by Van Vliet. And the Bucks miss again. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Collins with a screen on Holiday. Collins outside. Van Vliet, the pass to Collins. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. And the Spurs lead by eight. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. It's one thing to have teams shoot a bunch of threes, but with this team being that hot defensively, you got to chase them away from anywhere near that line. Over to the left wing. On to Kumpo for three. San Antonio with a rebound. Collins has got four rebounds now. And here's Murray. Drummond with the ball. For three. And they get it back. Collins with a screen on Holiday. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for San Antonio. Their offensive game plan has been simple. They look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. Brandon Ingram has checked in for San Antonio. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. And here's Ingram outside. He buries it from three. Ingram's got eight points here in the quarter. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Every night Giannis steps out there, you got to feel like you got a good chance to win. Collins passes to Murray. Let's a three fly. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. That one rocked this arena. That's the kind of dunk right there that makes you think he's going to rip down the rim. Here's Murray. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you look at the numbers Murray puts up, Grant. He's a threat to post a triple-double on any given night. And I love that about him, B.A. I mean, he brings it in every aspect of the game. He doesn't hunt stats. The game just finds him. With his steal rate, might be the best bet to put up a quadruple double in the league one day. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even it's more in this game. Milwaukee has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Here's Portis. And then Portis with the dunk. Yeah, and Portis needs to be pushed away from the rim. That's too easy. The three, and it's Murray. Damn. Murray's got 12 points here in the second half. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point. That's good from Holiday. Brooks, he's checked in for San Antonio. Richardson comes in for Fred Van Vliet. And what? Milwaukee with a change here, too. Lopez has checked in. Not a perfect trip to the free throw line, but they'll take what they can get at this point. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure Jesus. you get a good shot. Middleton with it. Checked by Brooks. Middleton passes to Allen. <laughs> go, Dylan, go! Ah. Good D by Antetokounmpo. The Bucks shooting just around 45% on the fourth. 
barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Spurs. And the huge difference today, the efficiency from beyond the arc. <laughs> yeah, once they started hitting shots, it stretched out the D and opened up the entire offense. This will mark their 13th win of the year. Not a bad number. And they meet just twice. So taking the there we go. meeting means a lot to this team. And as it was happening, as it was building, you they knew stayed close the whole game. I gotta give them some credit. Giannis was way too passive, though. All game long, one of those nights when he felt like nobody could If he was playing like that the whole game, they'd probably be right in it. Better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. First free throw is good. And Murray drops them both. So it's Milwaukee now, trailing by 13. Oh, foul out, Yancey. Boy, he overdid it there. Too much force on the foul, and he's <laughs> called for the flagrant. I like how they're calling these flagrants now. That's two in one game. I feel like it's been a glitch the whole season so far because, like, there's all these new animations that were not in 2K22. And the ones that are are the same from 2K22, those were flagrants. And those have not been flagrants. And there's also been all these new animations that, oh, yeah, it's a flagrant, that were not uh, being called flagrants in the first, what, 12 games? One. So, it's just hard to come on, Drone, what are you doing, man? Being of an opponent at risk, he rightfully earned that flagrant. Yeah, the officials are all over that one, sending a clear message that that kind of roughness is unacceptable. Come on, Drum. What are you doing? Here's Portis over Drummond, and it's Portis. That time on the assist by Connaughton. And Portis not afraid from the mid-range. That's where he can do some work. Here's Murray. It's hauled in by Portis. Crowder from deep three point range. The shot, no good. So we we'll right. see the Spurs <laughs> get the win here. This one was a fun one to watch. They were that could be a fun finals down. rematch. I mean, it's been, like I said, six seasons. So. It was a tough, uh, what, eight, right, nine, nine, nine games Allie in those two finals. So. Allie, it's all yours. Brandon, hot shooting for you tonight. Where do you get that confidence level to take over like this? Uh, coming in, working on my routine every single day. Uh, Tell you, we we win, we win MVP, y'all. Uh, step in the shot. It's, it's so set in stone. On the basketball floor to shoot the ball and also dip in the basketball to do whatever they want on the floor to create and make something happen. So confidence comes from my teammates. And you've been a great teammate as well. Guys, back to you. Allie, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. As we present our New Balance player of the game, Brandon Ingram. Yeah. Oh. That shot was crazy. 15 rebounds by Drone. Only one point. Kind of an interesting scoring night here. I mean, not, not, no one really popped out much. Good to have D Rose back. I wonder what he finished as. Negative two. Yeah, he was kind of. I was kind of overdoing it there, but he's. I'm still kind of learning how to play with him, but I'm kind of getting the hang of him. He had a really tough shot against uh, where where he held my wrist. I don't know which one that was. one of these and that dunk was just sick is that gonna show that one man let's say show the dunk though ah. it's nice having john collins because i hit that three oh, i'm so sorry ty <laughs> Oh, I am sorry. 
I am sorry. Let's pretend that didn't happen. All right. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, uh, yeah. But to my point, I mean, Giannis had another great game by the end of it, but too passive. Probably Porz is a great player. But to my point, look at this. Drew Holiday, one for nine. He'd be doing that in real life, yo. Like, <laughs> I mean, he's a hell of a defender. He's an awesome playmaker. But, I mean, he had he had 51 at some point in time, but that wasn't, that wasn't last year. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, looking forward to playing them again. We got one more against them, and then maybe, maybe a finals rematch. I don't know. They're going to have a rough playoff road if they stay like in, this, in the middle of the pack. So we'll see what happens.